guys. Guten Tag YouTube, this is Lightning Flash here and this is part two of my making carbon with sulfuric acid. <laughs> so, if you did not see part one, you'll know why this is this. Okay. So this episode we are neutralizing the sulfuric acid, cleaning that water bottle out, which melted. Thicker plastic. So I got baking soda, about 13 pounds of it. Some distilled water to wash it out without reacting anything. Um, where to start? Oh god, I didn't expect this. I really didn't see, that's why I have this thing, because this melted. See that little hole right there? Melted all the way through the plastic, so put the camera down for a second. Get you a slightly down angle. Let me get a glove on. I brought like six pairs of gloves. Just because. So the reason why I'm using distilled water, not tap water, well this is tap water, is hello. Because distilled water doesn't add anything to the solution except water. I need another glove on. Okay, I might, I might move because this sun is too hot. That was quick. But no, it's still bubbling a little bit. It's just dispersed. Okay. Might be shaky for a second. Okay, never mind that. Oh, my stick fell in the water. <laughs> what is that? What is, oh, that's sulfuric acid. Okay. Yay. Oh, this was my mixing stick. Whatever. Okay, is this cool down? Nope. Now, you still recording? Good. Let's move everything I don't need. Now, this was not a complete failure. I do have carbon, hence it being pitch black. And I had this round, so. Which is still hot despite um, being complete, oops. Being completely reactive for about 10 minutes now. Now I am gonna add this water into there because these are the same things. I'm keeping this guy. Um, just put it on a glove, I guess. Put this out of the way. So, put you, reverse you. Okay, let's see, angle good. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna get a little bit of distilled water. Now it's finally cooled down because the water I just added was cold. There. Now I need to add baking soda. So now <laughs> we are neutralizing acid. First thing I'm gonna do is to use the rest of this. Whoa, hello. That's enough. That'll take. Now see, reason why I have to filter this is because there is now so sodium sulfate, which I kind of want, but at the same time I probably won't use it. So I'll I'll keep some of this leftover solution. Some of this leftover solution just so I have sodium sulfate, even though I can make it really easily. Oh, by those two. This is sodium bicarbonate and sulfuric acid will make sodium 
sulfate, but you know, this, I'll have it on hand here. Oh, oh I need to get a stick. Stirring, because I don't have a stir stick. Okay, I don't have a lot of things that a chemist should have. Like, I don't even know where my goggles are. Some of you chemists are probably like screaming at me. That's okay. okay so let's get the uh, this from a side angle. Why are you being stubborn? Can we pour it in this corner? Now this was a fair. Cause see this how milky this is. I just put like probably like two cups. Oh jeez, I forgot. There's a lot more. This is still still sulfur dioxide. Oh yeah. Um, now that I'm neutralizing the acid, it is still sulfur dioxide or sulfur water. Well, carbon dioxide. Probably a little bit of sulfur dioxide, maybe in case there's a little bit. Oh jeez, no, oh, too much, too much, too much. Oh, that stuff's stuck down there now. That should be enough. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. Maybe. There's uh, some vapor right here. Maybe. Let me see if it will pick it up. Mm, sort of. Um, I don't know if it's going to pick up the bubbles of gas because that actually has visible carbon dioxide. Oh man, my mom's gonna have a surprise when she wakes up. Just adding a little bit of water in here so I can get this baking soda out. So yeah, this is what this is. That's all this episode is. If you want a fail video, <laughs> you just go watch the other one. No, seriously, go watch the other one. I'm gonna have fun. Okay, so now that this is completely empty, I'm just gonna put my hand in a bag of sodium bicarbonate. Baking soda. Scratchless cleaning. <laughs> it's gonna take forever. Oh, is that actually gonna pick it up though? Oh yeah, you can kind of see the vapor off of here. Well, um, this video is gonna be shorter than the other one because this is really all it is. I'm probably just gonna wash it out with salt. Um, yeah, whatever that chemical, uh, distilled water. Ah, uh, here we go. I had a brain fart. Oh, look where it's like spraying. Well, this is gonna take a while, so... Y'all know what this is, so... I'm gonna leave y'all to not scream at me anymore. anyway guys <laughs> now next episode filtering this crap out the carbon I probably will put this one in the mix I'll probably take I'll take some pictures of this first and then I'll put it in the mix wash it out thoroughly filter it which is gonna take forever literally I'll probably show you the first fifth ten minutes of it then the next four or five hours carbon is very fine at this state and it will it 
takes forever. So anyway, guys, this is... <laughs> I'm still... Okay. Get some stuff off the sides, I guess. So anyway, guys, I will see y'all... For you guys, it's probably a few days. For me, it's probably like an hour. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. So, like, comment, subscribe. If you want to scream at me in the comments, fine. Do it. I know. This is not a professional setup. If it was a professional setup, I would have a beaker, yes, and I would also have an ice bath around it just to make sure it doesn't because even though it's chemical glass it can it's still susceptible to heat shock so yeah so I will be finishing up with whatever the hell I'm gonna do with this and I will see y'all in my next video filtering yay and cleaning so I will see y'all in the next video.